Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, Paul. Coon Cassis, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm joined by Lee Selby. How are you, Peanut? I'm good, thank are you. Are still Peanut? Selby, yeah. Yeah. People still call you that? Um, a few, yeah. Only the old, my old friends. Oh, well, I like to speak of myself as an old friendly, so. Yeah, so you can call me. Peanut <laughs> it is. What's the uh, attire? Can attire. You, very, very you sharp. Sponsor today. mine, um, Gagliardi. Yeah. The Maltese, Maltese company. Yeah. Italian wear. Kit me up with the shoes. Show that. Lovely, lovely. The Hermes belt, lovely. Yeah. Um, that was a rather entertaining press conference. Oh, I was, I was paranoid sat there. I, any bit of movement behind me, I thought there's a chair or a table coming over the top. Well, you never know with Chizora because no, he's obviously he's got previous for that. He's unpredictable. What did you I think of that? Up, I thought he was lifting some up. What did you bottom. think of that, listening to that? You would see, you would see his points, but um, like the, the main event, the one's Scottish, the one's American, but they are, they are great champions in this unification match, but they're fighting in London. They are boys at home turf. He's a big attraction. You can see why he's a bit upset. But the main event, they're, they're great fighters. They could be a main event anywhere in the world. Yeah. I mean, it's quite bizarre, and you usually don't say that about Derek, but. No? You don't? Huh? Well, you say, oh, no, you don't usually, you're not surprised what oh, I mean yeah. what, by what Derek does, but I mean, today was just bizarre. But um, anyway, on to you. Uh, yeah, very interesting fight with yeah. uh, former freeweight world champion Ricky Burns. Talk to me about what. What's in it for you to, to fight Ricky Burns? Well, he, he's, he's a big name. Yeah. A former freeweight world champion. The second former freeweight world champion I've boxed. I boxed Fernando Montiel, you know, at the lower weights. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just a big domestic duster. And, like, live on Sky Sports, it's, it's a big opportunity for me. Obviously, Ricky Burns is towards the end of his career. I think yeah. that's fair to say on everyone's part. But what kind of Ricky Burns do you expect him to turn up at the O2 on October 25th? I'm, I'm 25? expecting the same Ricky Burns I spied with back in 2014. How did that go as well? It went very well. Yeah? Yeah, it was very competitive. Um, in anyone's favour or is that um, subjective? Just competitive. At, at the time, I, like you can't take too much into spiring, but it's the closest you're going to get to a real fight. At the time, I would... I would I'd recently boxed, so I was a lot heavier. It was two weeks out from his fight, so we would have been making weight. So I was like the bigger, the bigger guy. It was, it was really up and down sparring. Mm. And like everybody in the gym, they give us like a standing ovation after after every spar. Mainly due to due to there was no seats in Billionaires' in gym. They were stood up already, but they were all clapping after after every spar. It was good. What are you hoping a win over Ricky Burns can do for your career now? What you can do for my career? What could a win over Ricky Burns do for your career? Well, he's well known. He's an established lightweight, an established former champion. So it just puts me up there with, with, with the big names. Yeah. It opens more opportunities for me. I'm, I'm ranked in the IBF, I think, number three. There's one guy, number two. And number one is mandatory to box with the title. So three and two will be ordered in the, in the final eliminator pretty, pretty soon. So I'll win over cool. Burns. After that, I should get, get the final eliminator. Okay, well, Lee, have you got anything else you'd like to add before yes, yeah. you head off back I'd like to? to thank, thank my sponsors, Gagliardi. No problem. And um, Capital Cabs, Cardiff, real estate agents. Um, what else we got? We got a lot. JBC Nutrition. The list goes on. No problem. Lee, I'm sure we'll catch up with you ahead of uh, October 26th. So yep. Best of luck in camp, and uh, we'll speak to you very soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Top man, Lee Selby. Once the opportunity arose for him to close the show, he did it in emphatic style. Whatever he hits, falls.